when the first lockdown started end of March and beginning of April uh, county councils and local authorities were asked to um, to set up um, a community support um, structure called the community response forum and that was to um, to sort of coordinate and support the community efforts on the ground um, and to put together uh, to put in place a community call helpline that people who were cocooning especially could ring and get supports practical supports like uh, having their shopping collected and delivered or if they were feeling particularly isolated or needed reassurance or information or if they needed their prescription collected or, or things like that so that ran until the end of the first lockdown um, the PPM are a partner around uh, they are a partner sorry in the community response forum and so they've been playing a really central part in all of this um, since it began. So County Wicklow PPM is a network for all community and voluntary groups in the county and um, it exists really for three main reasons. One is to provide a, a structure or a, a way in which the voice of the community can be heard and represented on county policy and decision making bodies. We support community groups through training and various other supports and we provide a, a, a mechanism for a flow of information really from national and local um, um, bodies to community groups. Look at this year, I think, you know, the COVID pandemic has really fundamentally changed how we live and that's brought many stresses and pressures to people and I suppose during the year we became very aware that, um, you know, the impact this was having on, on all of us as individuals and as members of our communities. Um, and I suppose ordinarily our training would be very practical um, focus for groups around access and funding and the governance. But um, this year we felt, you know, in response to those increased agenda developments, um, that this was an area of training that we wanted to provide support for people. We also had worked with community groups to develop a shared vision for their community well-being, and in that, people highlighted the the wish that um, you know our county and our our people in our county are connected and have a good level of um, community and social support. So we really felt that you know we wanted to pull together something that would help to support people, to support themselves, and to support others in their community. The voluntary effort on Wicklow, it, it, it's just they're so passionate and compassionate and, and energetic. And I've been working in the community sector for 20 years or more, and, and it still has the potential to blow me away. And when COVID started, you know, it, you really saw it because the community sector just galvanised themselves to reach out and help the most vulnerable members in our community. But what we noticed, myself and Gronya, our PPN support worker, was that these amazing volunteers, um, yes, they stepped up immediately to support their community, but we could tell they were, they were calling us more, they were chatting for longer. You could tell they were overwhelmed by the whole pandemic and I suppose the truth of the matter is I don't think there's probably any person that hasn't felt a bit overwhelmed at some stage and, and we kind of wanted to help them we thought you know these guys are firefighting and, 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 and doing everything they can to reach out and help but who's helping them and, and we thought you know we, we need to try and do something so that's when we reached out to Avril and we asked her, you know, is there anything that we can do together that can support these wonderful volunteers to support the rest of their communities? And that's when we came up with this uh, course to supercharge your self-care. Because through talking to Avril, we kind of realised that we actually have the tools to kind of support ourselves and to help ourselves. But maybe we don't always recognise that. Maybe we need to be reminded. Maybe we need to stop and, and take the time and say, well, yeah, I need to do this for me. I need to make sure that I'm strong so that I can help other people. And that's how Supercharge Your Self Care um, went online. And it, it seemed to help. And, and, you know, we got great feedback from it. Um, and since the pandemic has gone on and gone and gone a lot longer than we expected it to do, we felt we, we were kind of wanted to spread this message that much further. And, and it links in as well with what's happening at national level 
and the Keep Well campaign. So it's, it's all about really connecting all these pieces together to help people to look after themselves and look after others. So um, I touched to with Abra, of course, during the first lockdown and I found it hugely beneficial. Um, I suppose it can only take sometimes one thing or one thought to be placed in your mind to create a change. The one that had most impact for me was the word uh, ruminate. And it came up in one of her sessions, which was the, the power of your imagination, I think. And as a semi, and I would openly admit it, a little bit of a perfectionist, um, how this word, when I heard it, I didn't actually know what it meant when I first heard it. And it does, for those that don't like me, it was where you just overthink and overthink and overthink something to the point where you're nearly actually, so sort of, it's having sort of a detrimental effect on you. So when I heard this, I did recognize in myself that I do tend to do this, not only in my personal life, but also in my uh, work life too. So I guess it, I had to battle it. And my solution was, uh, with the help of Avril's class, I started doing quite a lot of meditation. Um, I use the app Cam. It's called the Daily Cam. Um, I do it first thing in the morning. I do it three times a day. It takes 13 minutes, which is each one. I tend to listen to the same one um, over that day. I can't describe the difference it has made in my life. It, it took a while. I'd say it took about three to four weeks. But slowly, by using my breath, I calmed down a lot. And I also, I also stopped putting the enormous pressure on myself by the goal setting the diary keeping, all of that. And I think um, that's been the biggest benefit, learning what that word was and associate, uh, the association I had with it in my life and how, because I became aware of it, how I could actually change. Well, as kind of um, at a stage in my life that the pandemic had just hit, was just, March was just crazy for me. And I, I always had my stuff in control and then all of a sudden it went bang. So then this popped up from the PPN and I just said, look, that's something I really need to do right now. So I think it was a six week program. It was extremely beneficial to me. It really grounded me. And Avril had such a lovely way of putting the meaning across and she made it so practical. Like there wasn't a day that went, I went out of it that I didn't use something like. So in my work, there was um, a lady who was very stressed, couldn't sleep. And lo and behold, the next week there was a whole big, massive workshop on sleep like. And even for my own, like I wouldn't have realized how important sleep was. I have three young kids under five, so I'm literally bang, 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 bang. I get two, three hours sleep. And even like, you know, that session made me think like, you know, of course I'm not gonna function that way because I'm not getting those sleeps. And even the way she explained how thought patterns and your lack of sleep, it was just so, so beneficial. And luckily now I had the other, there was a lady I was working with who was able to come into that session with me and do, the, do it with um, Avril. So it was really, really beneficial to the two of us. But even like say on my own personal life then, I had a sister who's getting married and straight in October they were like come on hold on you're gonna, you're gonna let 50 people up then it was gonna be 100 and I could just see her stress panicking so I was told her about Avril was telling us about a book and you write your words in this book and you just I, like she said it's coming through all the night I keep thinking about stuff so I just said you know stop your thoughts write it down and say this is not my time to worry so I could actually see Avril every time I was using her technique like and then also I have a little five-year-old girl who's really stressful, really emotional. So um, Avril told us about the 7-Eleven, where you breathe in for seven, out for 11. Like, so like everything like I still use in um, Avril's course, and like this must be, was it four or five months then? So um, uh, basically I got um, uh, an email through from the, uh, the Wicklow PPN about Avril's course, and that maybe it might be something I might be interested in, and it was running from, I think the 17th of June was the first one. So I, I decided that I was gonna 
I was going to give it a go. There was uh, th basically th three, three to start with, and then the two we were going to decide on as as we went on. Um, so, th so that was so that was interesting. But that's how I heard about it through 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 the Wicklow PPN. Um, I found I found the anxiety module and sleep modules both really beneficial to me. Um, it was it was they were both really really good um, because there was there was good reflection on 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 the, on the material that was covered and really good discussion on the material that was covered at the end of it. So I really enjoyed that. Um, but it was it was very relatable. All the all of the different things that you you could do, especially with especially with the sleep, how much sleep. The, re the relation to coffee and the things we do um, that are, are really bad for our sleep that we all probably know about, um, but we don't we don't really we don't really we don't we, you know we don't we don't pay any attention to it. Um, well, Ava was, uh, it was great great working with her on on, on the course. Um, the material was was um, was really extensive and it was more technical than I thought it would be, um, which I found really interesting. So. You know, it wasn't it wasn't wishy washy or anything like that. It was very straight to the point, very clear cut, and everything was explained really well, and that really helped. And that's her kind of presenting style, so that was that was really that was really uh, that was really enjoyable as well. Well, I've learned mostly about mostly about older people because I'm in the same category myself. Uh, that there's an awful lot of isolation and loneliness, and I did take it upon myself when the first lockdown happened to ring people. And I think I was on the phone for about two weeks talking to people. So lately, um, I wanted to, I have been trying to keep up the connection. So what I have done recently is I've sent every group I know a Christmas card and wish them all the best. And let's hope that 2021 will be a better year for all of us. Now, whether it will or not, I don't know. Whether the vaccine will work, who knows? But you have to be positive as well. And as my husband has said to me, it is what it is and we just need to get there and older people also need to have to learn how to use um, IT we need to be able to use uh, computers uh, mobile phones and I think that's a vital thing because that is the future and there's no use going looking back or going in the future for all of us so um, I got an iPad for my birthday so <laughs> I have to sit down now and learn how to, well I know how to use it, but I have to have a look at it as a, as a brand new thing.